Well guys, welcome back to another Scrap and Irish video. And this video is one that I've been called out on by um, Pooh's mate and Ian Matthews, of course. So, um, this is an introduction to the video. The video's already videoed, well, what I, I was going to do a longer video of it, but because they put the pressure on me, I've decided just to put the video up and show what I've done so far in it. And I've been called out on these, which are the RJ45 and RJ, whatever other connections that they, um, that you might be calling them, so everyone has different numbers on them, there's all different RJs and stuff like that. So let me open one here. So I've been called out as why it's taking me so long to do the video. Well, it's not that it's taking me so long to do the video, it's just I was wanted to do different stuff on the video. But, oh, where's my camera? There we go. So. As you can see, these are your little RJ connectors, which have your little gold um, pins in there. So that's what it is. So um, I want to know how do I get the gold pins out of them? So I'm going to show you in the video how I get the gold pins. And we'll come back at the end and um, finish up because the video will kind of finish not where I wanted to finish. So, but I want to get the video up. So long story short. It's going to be part one of the RGA connections and part two might be another year or two along the lines. So um, please watch it. And as always, if you're not a subscriber, why not consider subscribing to the channel and checking out more of my videos. Um, and if you are already a subscriber, thanks for being a subscriber. So anyway, let's talk out of me. But there will be more talk out of me in a second. But um, let's see what I do to get the gold pins from these little connectors so check out the video and um, see you at the end well guys welcome back to another scrap and irish video um so on this video what i'm going to be talking about is the rj connectors this is more for a subscriber before we get that far please um if you are not already a subscriber please consider uh, uh, subscribing to my channel i would really appreciate it uh, if you took the time to subscribe and check out some of my other videos and comment and like and share and um, if it's what you're into, e-waste, scrapping, metal recovery, a bit of everything really on this channel. Uh, you can also get my lives um, on a Sunday where other scrappers and other e-waste guys come in and we chat and we talk about everything to do with scrap, e-waste, prices, ways of doing things, um, ways of not doing things, um, all that's kind of, all that good stuff uh, so if you're into the scrap into the e-waste please consider subscribing to the channel and again thanks for taking the time to come and watch what I'm doing so this is a one that I've been asked on the lives a few times by a subscriber called Pooh's Mate and um, she was asking me how I get to deal with these RJ connectors so all different types of RJ connectors in here as you can see you have lots and lots of them so, uh, so even these type, which are not really RJ connectors, but again, they've got the gold pins in them. I wouldn't call them an RJ connector. Um, but they, these type of RJ connectors, so you have some of them there. Let me get that into focus. Some of them there with a lot of gold pins across them. And then you'll have some with just two gold pins across them. So again, where do the RJ cables connectors come from? What are they used for? Well, they're used for mainly uh, to do with uh, internet, telephone, um, that sort of connectors. You'll find the RGA connectors on them. So you'll find them on your cables like these telephone cables. You'll find them on these sort of connectors again. So you'll have the RGA connector here on this end. And then in here, you'll have the receiver end for another RGA to go into. And again, they will have gold pins and stuff. But this video is to do with these. These type connectors, the RGA connectors. Um, so... As far as I know, like there's RJ11s, 48s, 12s, I'm not sure if there's a 61 or something like that as well. There's a couple of different types and it's to, it's, it's to do with, I think, the amount of cables that are connected and what they're used for and stuff like that. So again, like even this device that I got out of something, it had a, on the end of it, we have an RJ connector. And again, it's a one with a lot of gold pins in it. So what I usually start off with doing first is I will remove... The um, as close as I can to the the actual thing, so we just end up doing that. So again, there's a there uh, there's no 
right way, wrong way of doing these. It's up to whatever way you find best yourself. I was asked, what the way do I do it? So again, you'll have your cable then, your insulated cable, so you'll see what your scrapyard will give you for them. So um, I think I have a bin full of that stuff at the moment uh, that I need to work on. But um, so again, I'll just be doing that, cutting the cables off like that, and that's it. There's nothing really major to that part of it. That's the that's the easiest part. It's just cutting the cables off, and again, don't throw away your wire. You'll get um, you'll get money for that in your scrapyard or. Um, well, scrap is really the only thing, unless you have another use for it yourself, or you can do something else with it rather than sell to a scrapyard. But I wouldn't see any other use than a scrapyard for it. Again, you'll have thicker ones like these uh, Ethernet cable ones. So these came with router boxes or something like that. So again, I try and cut it as high up as I can, and then we just end up with it in there like that. And again, as high up as I can. So, something like that. And then again, we have our, our cable. And again, on the ends of these, the connectors, it's just straightforward. Cut them off, and then I'll keep them. Connectors, I'll usually trim it back to here to take the wire, and then I'll keep that and break that open to get the gold pins out of that. But that, I might do a video on that at some other stage. Um, so, you don't really want to see me cutting all these off. Um, but that's all I'm going to do on that part is I'm going to remove all them, take all the um, RJ connectors off. So again, you see it here on this, it was a larger one. And again, it's just cut it right back here so we get as much of the wire saved. And then that's it into the container. So um, I'm going to continue cutting them off screen, fill up this container, and we'll come back then when we're ready for the the next stage of what I do on it. So in the meantime, guys, why not give it a like? And um, if you haven't hit that subscribe button, now's the time. Okay, now that I have uh, removed all the ends from that, that's just the cable going with my cable that I already have, we're left with this box of RJ connectors. So what am I going to be using to remove them? Again, before we go any further, this is the way I do it. I was asked, how do I do it? So this is how I remove them. Um, the two tools I'll be using, straightforward snips that I was already using for uh, cutting the wire, and one of these little, um, I don't know how to call them, uh, another sort of snips. It's a, uh, I'd use it for pulling pins, I'd use it for uh, snipping wire, anything like that. So that's what I have. There are the two little devices I will be using. Little container to put the, um, put the, uh, pins that I pull out afterwards into there. So again, it's a bit awkward over the camera, but I will try and give you a couple of demonstrations of how I do it. So we'll start off with one of the easier ones, which are the ones with just two, if we can find one, with just two uh, pins in it. So here we go. There it is, two little pins in it, and that's it. So I'm gonna zoom in a bit, so hopefully It'll make it a bit easier because then with the zoom on I don't have to be it keeps it in focus a bit better so all I do do is do 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 is try and get this point and that point if I can get a focus then two points where it meets between the gold pins so it can be a bit awkward over the camera and I do apologize but there we go so as you can see what it's done, it's split them apart. So again, as I say, there is tons of methods up there online of how people do it. This is how I do it. Then it's just a matter of pushing all the way through till you hear it snap. So there you heard the bang, and that was it. So then you can either, you can see there, you can see the gold pin, and that sometimes that will just break out straight away. You can see it on this side as well. Sometimes there might be still a layer of plastic on it. This is where this tool comes into operation and some if it's too hard to get I just well that one's actually loose. I can see it's loose enough to, to pull out I think. Sorry about my fingernails all dirty because I've been at stuff in the yard because I'm trying to get my shed cleaned up. So once I get that loose, if I can get it loose, it should just fall out. 
Again, so awkward over the camera, but there we go. And that is our gold pins. So it's fairly straightforward. And then just throw it into the little container. Again, the other side then, sometimes there might be still a layer of plastic over it, which you can see there there is. So I just get the snips again, and I try and get down the side of it. It's a long, slow, tedious job, I know. But if you're sitting in front of the TV, sitting in front of YouTube, nothing else on the and one of these containers in front of you, you can just do that. So it is straightforward usually, as it's awkward because I'm leaning over the camera and trying to do this, and it makes it a bit harder, but you can get the way I'm doing it. So there's your pin. Again, if you need, you can get a little snips or something to pull it out. So again, I'll just use this one if I can get it. Might need to, because it might just fall out. Uh, you can get anything you want to pull it out, even a uh, top of a pin, a screwdriver, anything that'll just move that pin out. So let me see, I've get something, a little screwdriver or something with a point on it. We have a little pin here, so we'll just, all you do, pick it out till it falls out. That's it. There she is. So again, another gold plated pin. So I'm going to show you one more and then I'm going to do maybe the rest of these off screen and we'll come back and we'll see what we ended up with. But, um, so we'll do one with a lot of pins in it. So again, you can see here, if I can get this to focus, there we go. We have a line of pins. So again, with this one, it doesn't really matter where you put it because you're going to have to. So I start at the end or near the end if I can. So we started somewhere there. And then I'll move along and I'll do another one. And then I'll move along and do another one. And we just try and get it broken. And you can see there a pin has fallen out, but this one is not as gold plated as the red as some of them. So it is gold plated, but not it doesn't look as shiny as the other one. But we put them in there. And again, we have another few of them loose here. And it's a matter of then just flicking them out. And you can see if we get it out. There he is. There's another one. So again, he'll just go into the container. And that's it. I just keep doing that with them all. So it doesn't really matter. And eventually you get through the pile that you have to do. And you'll end up with a nice view. So again, just to show the way I do it. I've seen people put these into um, into shredders and I've seen them put them into other stuff on videos, all different types of videos to do it. Um, you can see there now, I didn't quite get the plastic off. So the plastic is covering it. So now I have to redo it again. And this time again, it's a matter of, uh, it's very awkward over the camera, but that's it just to peel that bit of plastic away. And I should be able to get it from the, there it is now, you can see it's kind of liberated a bit more. Not enough yet. There we go. So now you can see there how it's attached into the wire. And again, what my dirty nails from there we go and that's it so there is the next pin so i'm going to do the rest of these off screen and we'll come back and we'll see what we ended up with in here from these and um, this won't be all done i'll be doing this overnight i won't do it all again as i said already it's whenever you have time so i'll just show you one of these actually while we're at it and um, you can see there's only two pins in here so again what i usually do is just Wherever the pin is, I put the snips and I just cut down into it. And that should release the pin. You can see it there again. And again, it's a matter of flicking that pin out. And there it is out. And then just pull it out any way you can get it out. Uh, use a biro, tip of a biro maybe on this one. So just flick it out. 
there we go. Sometimes they'll come with the wire attached to them, like they are here. So if I can remove it from there, there we go. So you can see it's still attached to the wire by one little prong, but that's very easy to take care of. Just grab it, pull it out, and that's it. Goes into the container. So I'm gonna continue on with the rest of these off camera. So please mate, that's how you do it. Um, and uh, we'll come back and we'll see what we ended up with in this jar at the end of it. Hopefully we'll have a nice little pile of them because there is a nice amount of them to do. And um, hopefully we'll end up with a nice little pile of them. So again, for you it's gonna be instant. For me it's gonna be a few evenings uh, sitting in front of the TV doing a bit at a time and that'll be it. So let's see how I got on. Right guys, so you've watched the video through, hopefully, and um, you would have seen that I said I would come back at the, the end of the video and show what I had got out of them. So this is what I have. I don't want to spill them, but there's all the little gold pins I've taken from that container. Now again, I have a lot more to, to do, um, but it's just to get the time to do them and stuff like that. And the plan was to put these into the nitric acid and um, get the gold off them. I was going to separate them out from the really gold flashed, from the very thinly gold flashed on them, um, which I've started doing and I think I've most of them taken out that they're all kind of really goldy, not just gold at the ends. And the ones with the golds at the ends, I've in another container and um, we'll do another method for that. So hopefully, Electronic Scrapper will have a video out on how to get gold from low grade pins um, without using asset. So that could be a video we need to check out and if it works I'll have to give it a go of course and see um, do my version of it. But yeah, so that's how I remove the um, the gold pins from these RJ connectors. So it is a tedious job as they little snips whatever this is not the snips i was using but it will do the same thing um a little snips like that long tedious job winter work i think you'd call that as ian matthews would say winter work that's winter work and that's what i was kind of doing over the winter and that's why i was waiting till the summer to do the acid on them but i got called out on the video so i said i better put this video up or ian matthews will get ahead of me on it so, um, <laughs> joking Ian. So that's the way I do it. Uh, I think Ian would probably use a hammer to try and do it. So maybe he'll do a video and maybe a hammer will work. And maybe I've been wasting all my time taking them out uh, with the little um, snips and pliers and nail, nail pliers and little pins or whatever way to, to get them out. But again, that's the way I do it. And so it's not for everyone. But um, it's my method and that's the way I do it. So as always, thanks for watching the video guys and keep safe and um, catch you on this one. Don't forget the lives on uh, Sunday nights and hopefully um, we will have seen Electronic Scrapper's video and uh, we'll be able to talk about that maybe on the live on Sunday. So see you there guys and as always, give it a thumbs up, why not? Uh, it doesn't cost anything to hit the thumbs up button and um, See you on the next one and keep on looking for that gold guys. It's 